found at Super Academy. I'm sitting here with Mr. Peter. Peter. Peter Eslin. Introduce yourself. Well, Peter Eslin. Um, so I'm a CFO of one of Barclays divisions, and uh, I got to know BJ really through actually well, I suppose initially mm. from my bank, yeah. uh, Lily Lapina, um, where I'm doing some work, you know, looking at sort of uh, social mobility and education, entrepreneurs, um, mm -hmm. and it fits in really well with what Barclays is trying to do as well in terms of, of give something back to society and create growth. Powerful. Uh, just give us a top, a top line look at your career thus far. My career thus far. Uh, so, so uh, chartered accountant, so I qualified chartered accountant um, yeah, in one of the big, uh, big accounting firms, which is great fun, mm -hmm. it was good fun. Um, but then I got sort of asked by one of the banks I was working for uh, to do some work for them, mm -hmm. so I did. Great opportunity, got me to go and live in Hong Kong and then worked in the States. Um, but I missed London mm -hmm. at the end of the day. I like the culture, I like the, you know, um, and it's home I suppose in many ways. So came back and um, you know, Barclays was the place. Uh, I felt it was innovative. Yeah. Um, obviously we've had the financial crisis, it hasn't been great. Um, but you know, we're now I think trying to get back to where we should have been. Um, rebuild trust and uh, you know, get a little bit more excitement. engagement and excitement. If you have to start your career again um, and you start Monday, just done a fresh degree and you're looking at the world as it is today, yeah. so the digital economy, you've got the financial economy still growing yeah. and yeah. you've got a sharing economy, there's so many new innovations out there. Yeah. What path would you take and why? So I think at the end of the day, you've got, you've got to go with your heart, mm -hmm. you've got to go with your passion. Um, and for me, you know, yeah, blogging and journalism sounds great, but I was never great at writing. You know, I'm a numbers guy. Um, but digitization is here, you know, and that is revolutionizing banking. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got mobile um, and there's all sorts of, of sort of app capabilities. Mm -hmm. So it's really, I mean, to me, getting into that lane, you know, collaborating, sharing a little bit of knowledge, but trying to find that sort of niche, uh, mm -hmm. niche element. I think it creates some excitement. I mean, it, it, it has its downsides. It's like, well, where's tomorrow going? But you've got, if you've got it if in your heart and you believe it's sort of uh, where you're going to go, then I, I would do that. Having said that, I have got a love of cooking. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem is, is you know, cooking is sort of a little bit more personal and sort of intimate. Um, and I wouldn't want to do it for you know large, large, large numbers. Well, I'd love to do it as a career, but I'm yeah. not sure it's sort of it, it would be very much more self-contained. Whereas I think the excitement of digitization the yeah. excitement of of working um yeah actually to me working in financial services the glue that c keeps people together mm -hmm. um that really is uh, i enjoy that Incredibly. um and your top tips for entrepreneurs of today so i think it really comes down to four things all right you know you've got to have that business model and that's got to come from the heart you say so you've got to understand you know what it is you're going to be producing what your service is you know what your customer base is it's got to be ingrained and it's got to be robust now in developing that business model you've got to develop your variety network mm -hmm. um and you know, it could be a group of half a dozen friends it could be broader but you've got to build that network use it as a sounding board um third as you get in, as you start that business momentum, you know, cash is key. Mm -hmm. um, you've said it, I've said it. I mean, ultimately, you know, you, you've, you've got to look at where you're going to get your funding from. Totally. Yeah, income can be starting to roll in, but then it's going to be your costs, you know, and it's the hidden costs. It's things like insurance or licenses, all the things that maybe you haven't planned for. Um, and then lastly, you know, it, it, it's developed both that network and that advisory group. So mm -hmm. whether it's um, accounting friends, legal friends, um, people who can give you a slightly broader feel as your business grows because there are other challenges out there and getting that breadth of experience is going to be uh, or talent to, to add to your to your ideas is going to be great. Amazing. Well, Mr. Peter, thank you for the conversation. Good luck today. You know, you. It's going to be a great day. Perfect. Brilliant.